Okay, everybody, welcome back to Otis, which I think I forgot to mention in the intro. It's the That's the actual name of this floating city that we all live in and that we're all diving out of and trying to you know contribute to its glory. The corporations sponsor us. The local council will give us rewards and stuff like that. So it's all in the name of Otis. So let's return to Otis. And it's my turn. Although, before we continue, I do have to point out I made a little bit of a goof. On Jen's last turn, when she sold that plant material to the market, and she took three credits and a point. That was wrong. It's three bucks or a point. Very important. Ands and ors are very different. So Jen did not score a point. She instead took the money instead of the point when she sold that. All right, so I've adjusted the scoreboard. And now let's continue. What am I going to do? Well, my situation is if all the contracts that are out right now need fuel, my fuel diver, he's going to be offline for a while. It's going to take a, a bit before he gets wet and can start collecting more fuel. So now I'm not really uh, that keen on trying to chase after. I mean, but that means I could focus on upgrading. I mean, hey, I could use my robot or I could buy and sell some stuff. But, you know, ooh, I think I'm going to use my spy. I'm going to activate my spy who's on level one. So we, we uh, activate level one. We come over, and who's the sponsor of level one? It's the guy who wants us to upgrade our characters. Hooray! So like Jen did before, I will spend two credits, and this earns me one victory point, and I get to upgrade Mr. Diver. Mr. Spy Diver. So here's what he was originally. It costs one credit to activate my spy to either give me a mission or spy on my neighbors. But now, because he's upgraded, it's free, yo! Uh, all right, this guy works for Chump Change. Okay, so um, that was the benefit I got. I paid my two credits, and now I will activate my new upgraded diver. And my choice is either draw four missions and get one. Same way you saw Jen did when she got that reward tile. So I could give myself my own secret mission, and hopefully it'd be one that doesn't require fuel. Or... I could spy on Jen. Now, the way spying works is you look to the player to your left and the player to your right, although in a two-player game, there's only the, the other player. You see what, what is on their level, and I look at Jen's level one, and she's got her fuel guy. So that means my spy could duplicate the function of her fuel diver, and I could get some fuel here on the first level. So, and if I do that, hey, I get fuel, and then my tech guy will be along before too long, and I could get my blue up there, so I could actually go for this really quick, this turbine that requires metal technology and fuel. Hmm, do I want to do that? That's not bad, but still, that's a public uh, objective that could get taken from me if I don't quite get it done in time. And, you know, because I can see Jen's got everything she needs for that. She just needs to get these things combined to be able to finish that. So I think it's going to be better to activate my spy, not to copy Jen's fuel diver, but instead to draw four and pick a mission. One, two, three, four, or, or a contract. All right. So what do I got to choose from? All right. Oh, it's the scrap yard again. And remember, the scrap yard, they'll just take anything. Uh, two, unique, uh, two cubes of one and then a, a single and a single and a single. Four unique colors to get five points, a credit, and a battery. Or just a one, one, one to get two and a battery. Um, oh, my God. Did I get? No, I almost got all junkyards. But instead, I do have this big turbine, which is two steel and a tech for three points. Now, which of these am I going to take? Um, let's see. So I've got a steel and a tech right here. And if I use that power to move this tech here and then I get another steel right there, I could get this done very, very quick. That makes sense. Let's go for this one. All right. So I've got my secret goal, which will be worth three points when I do it. And, uh, thanks, Mr. Spy. Okay. So he's done. Uh, my key comes down here. And you'll notice this is a meter that as I use more and more of my, um, key tiles, it starts to fill up. When it eventually fills up completely and hits my hacker, this character over here, that's when I can recall all of them and put them back where they're supposed to go. So it's kind of like a Concordia kind of thing where you just have to keep on playing cards until you eventually get to a point where I get them all back. I, I was kind of short-circuiting that by using uh, this special power to recall them earlier, but you might play a game where this special power doesn't exist and the sponsor instead says, oh, you know, it does this shuffling thing of being able to push the guy on the bottom all the way to the top when you activate him. I don't have that one instead. All right, so anyway, so I've activated this. I got my special power and now this is locked up. I need to use four more of my key tiles before I can recall them. And meanwhile, my spy, he's plum tuckered out. He's going to go back, back up top. And there he is. Okay. It is now Jen's turn, and I've totally forgotten. Right. Oh, right. So she's got her big goal, and she wants to keep diving on this level so she can get more points. So I think, hmm, she could 
Right. Okay. So she wants to activate level five because that'll score her an extra victory point. Um, and what's going to happen right now is she'll activate the engineer, which means she has to remember she didn't do this before. She'd have to pay a credit. And what the engineer does is it either upgrades this meter or this meter. Uh, you know, it drops down to the next level. And these actually slot in under the, the these are uh, double, uh, double layer boards so that you have all these grooves and whatnot. So there's grooves that these things move in. Upgrading this guy means, hey, you can recall your tiles sooner. You can upgrade them all the way this far. So that means you can recall your tiles every three turns. You can recall all your tiles if you keep on spending to upgrade him. This guy, um, he, an upgrade to him means you can use propellers more effectively. And I haven't talked about propellers yet. What that's all about is basically, um, all right, so I've activated level five, but say I don't want to use my engineer. Say I want to use my, um, my steel guy because I need steel on this level because that's part of the objective I'm going for. Um, instead of activating, I can actually spend a battery to activate a diver's propeller. And right now, divers, when you activate the propeller, they can move up or down one space. So I could have this engineer move up, which would slide the blue one down, and then I would activate the blue, which is really what I want to do. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, but, but, and then I'd be out of battery. The other use for batteries is normally when you activate somebody and then after they're done, they slide over here. They're supposed to come back up to the top. When that happens, if you want, you can spend a battery to say, uh-uh, you're, um, you know, it, it recharges your oxygen generator, you know, your rebreather. And that means they stay down there so that you don't cycle everything. So those are the two main uses of batteries, um, ensuring that you don't mess with your elevator of people or messing with it to shuffle, you know, so both are all about manipulating the queue of divers. And then sometimes batteries will have other uses like, you know, this sponsor over here where you can use batteries to move cubes around. Hmm. Anyway, so Jen's going to activate level five. Now I should say, um, because she's activating level five, hey, she gets that sponsor, which is basically she gets to use the effect of one of the reward tiles that are there. Um, but then, unlike before, remember when Jen actually earned it and came over here and it got locked in? Instead, Jen gets to use one of these and then it gets jettisoned. And that's actually pretty cool because the two reward tiles are get fuel or um, uh, plant life or get fuel or steal. Ooh. Unfortunately, it would like it to be get tech because we need the other tech. I mean, the fuel or the, 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 the steel and the plant life, they're about there. But you know what? I think I will take this one. Jen's going to take this one. Uh, because she's activating this uh, sponsor. She'll take this and use its power to get the green she needs. Because here's the thing. Jen's going to move the blue down here, and then she can activate the blue with her X, but then she wouldn't be able to activate the green anyway. The green, so she, Jen's got her green that she's needed for her big contract she's working on. This goes away. A new one comes out. So Jen's, um, oh, it's, a, it's another one of those doubles or, you know, either ors. And now the sponsor is done. Jen slides over here. She's going to spend one credit to activate her uh, engineer. And that, and I think she's going to do it to have her engine. Now she could activate this because then she can start using batteries to make um, this guy start going down quick, 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 quick. But I think she wants to be able to recall her tiles quicker, so she's going to upgrade this. So now she only has to use five tiles instead of six before she recalls everything. So that's how she spent the money, and this is now spent. The engineer goes back up to the surface, and next turn, Jen can use her X. Oh, but don't forget, since Jen activated this level, she also got a point because this is the best level for her to dive at because she got that bonus. All right. And so next turn, she'll use the X to get the steel. She'll get another point. And then all she's got to do is just get that tech all the way down here to finish this job. All right. So that was Jen's turn. And now it is my turn again. And right, what was I going for? Oh, right, right, right. I was going to finish this and get another blue here and then move that white up. Now, I think, yeah, actually, with that in mind, let's go on ahead and activate level four. Okay, so visit sponsor number four. I can get a battery or I can spend a battery to move a cube. I'm going to spend a battery to move this tech cube up here. Um, although, oh no, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing, folks. If I do this, after I'm done, the robot's going to be down and my blue guy will come down here and then he won't be in position. So no, 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 I can't do this yet. We're not doing that. 
I'm not spending that battery to move the cube. I'll do that next. Right now, I've got to activate level three and get my other blue cube, my other steel on here. So what is sponsor number three? Hey, I don't mind getting some more cash money. Thanks, sponsor. All right, and then we slide it on out, and this is the simplest guy in the world. I just get um, some more metal that we found on this level. And now level three is all plumb tuckered out. I can't activate level three again until I've activated pretty much everything else. Um, but, and let's see, and if you upgrade the resource gathering guys, they gather additional stuff. They gather steel and they can get these neutral X keys, which means the more of these you have, the more you can reactivate stuff over and over again. They're really awesome. But right now he's not upgraded, so he comes back up to the top. Okay, boom. So there we go. And that was my turn. And now it is Jen's turn again. I've totally forgotten what she's doing. All right, oh. She wants to activate level five to get the blue here for her contract that she's, all right, did I forget anything else? So I slid over, everything slid down. And um, right now, next turn, level four, I'll activate the robot to get this slid up here. And um, then I'll complete my contract. Or at least that's what I think I'm gonna do because of how everything's lined up. But things are about to change because Jen's gonna pull out her X chip and she's gonna use it to activate level five again. I'm like, no! Because remember, as soon as you use the X chip, the, that shifts up the sponsors. They all slide around. And my plans have now been affected by Jen. Because now i got to activate level 5. Although I can still do it. I can activate, although I don't want to activate her. I wanted to activate my robot. Ah! All right, well, anyway, we'll worry about that on my turn. So Jen activated her X, which caused everything to shift around. And now Jen's on level 5. She can take a battery or she can spend a battery to shift stuff around. She doesn't need to shift stuff around, so she'll just spend. She's just saving up on batteries to be able to manipulate her Q. And now, so she's done with the sponsor. Slides it on over, and hey, she gets the blue she needs, and because she's diving on this level, she just scored another point. Hooray! And now uh, her X is gone until... Oh, but remember, Jen's going to be able to recall her tiles sooner because the engineer upgraded her hacking ability. And then everything slides down. And Jen's white is getting closer and closer to the bottom floor so that he can find tech there so Jen can complete this big contract she's working on. All right, so that was Jen's turn. My turn. I was originally planning on activating my robot because he was on level four, and that was going to let me move my cubes around so I could complete my mission and all of that stuff. And now it's all changed. Because now if I want to move cubes around, i got to go to level five. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Right. Um, so, hmm. All righty. Although that's the other problem, too. It has to be moving a cube from the level you're on. I have no particular desire to move this um, white cube up. Hmm. So what am I going to do instead? And plus, I didn't want to activate. I mean, what I could do is I could spend a battery to move my robot down here because I wanted to activate the robot. I could activate him on level five, but still, it's not like I want to move this green anywhere. I don't care about that green cube. So that changed things up. Now, I could still do level four and activate my robot. And um, what would I get? I'd get another mission or I'd um, get a point. And I would like to. And I'd get some more money. That's not bad. That's not bad. Although it's expensive. I have to pay full. My robot's expensive, costing two. Um, or, hey, I haven't activated level two yet. I could come up to level two and activate my engineer so that I can change my ability to use the propeller or I could, I could recall tiles sooner like Jen. Uh, let's see. Or, you know, I mean, I don't have to rush on this. Nobody else can take this from me. Maybe I should come back over here and look at this stuff. All right. Uh. Well, actually, yeah, none of these want two blue. So uh, what I've done so far isn't particularly useful. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, you know what? Actually, this isn't bad. I think I will just go ahead and activate level two. Wasn't my original plan, but hey, I'm getting... Um, if I just get my white guy down here and activate him, I'll, I'll get the tech without having to move it up. So I'm going to activate my engineer. Sponsor at level two says, hey, pay two credits. You better, I believe I'll do it to upgrade. And so I have just upgraded my engineer lady, which means... Her special power is free, and I'll do the same thing as Jen. I want to be able to get my tiles back sooner um, by upgrading my hacker. So then this comes down here, and next turn, after I use the four or the five, I'll get all my tiles back, and that'll start giving me more flexibility again. Meanwhile, she goes back to the surface. Okay, and now it is Jen's turn.
And again, I have totally, totally forgotten what her goal is. Hmm. Okay. What I think Jen's going to do here is, um, see, I was thinking, I, you know, I might want to spend my batteries to start pushing the tech guy down deeper, faster, but he can only, I can only spend one battery per uh, movement and they only moves one space. So that's not going to get me in place anytime soon, but I think I've got, or I think Jen's got a clever plan. She's going to activate level three which means visits and hey, she gets to recall something. I think it's the most recent one. So she gets to recall her ex. So that gives her more flexibility. And now she'll activate him, which gets uh, uh, black or uh, you know, some fuel there and hooray. So now this comes down there and Jen is continuing to move her tech diver towards his ultimate goal, the bottom of the ocean. But Jen's got another uh, very clever plan in the meantime, I think. Yeah, that's going to work pretty cool. So, um, my turn. All right, I just need to use my four or my five, and then I get to reclaim all of my things. I can use my robot, and hey, I'll make some money. Yeah, I think I will. Let's go on ahead and activate level four. So, sponsor, more money, please. And now, robot, let's spend two of that money. And now I'm broke, so that's a problem. But I'll worry about that later. All righty. And uh, take one of these. Uh, get a point or get another mission and then flip it. Now, these all work the same. Once you flip it and, and make that a special thing, all the green ones give you points every time you activate that. All the yellow ones give you money every time you activate that level. So I'm going to take one of these, get another mission, get a point right now. And then that means I can make money on level four every time I dive there or I can make points on level four. Uh, so I'm about to finish the mission I've already got, but you know what? Uh, Jen's not really showing much interest in chasing after the public missions. I think I'll go on ahead and take this one. So this one stays. Um, right. So the robot, I, I paid my two to get this. This gave me one point. Cause remember we're just racing first 18 points triggers the end of the game. And now I flip this. And now from now on, if I dive at level four, I make money. Yay. And the same way Jen makes points if she dives at level five. All right. So you're done, Mr. Robot. And uh, key number four comes down and boom, because I upgraded my hacker, I get all my stuff back. So uh, robot goes back to the surface and I take all my tiles and put them back where they're supposed to be. The, the X and the four and the three and the two and the one. So I once again have all the flexibility I did at the beginning of the game. Nice. Okay, and it would have, I would have had to activate level five, um, which would have been the merchant, and I was like not particularly excited about doing the merchant power at all. So I'm very happy to get all that stuff back. Okay, Jen's turn. So what Jen is going to do is she just got her X back. She's going to use it um, to activate level three again, which means, as always, everything shifts around. Zoop. All righty, because the sponsors just don't know what to make of this uh, unexpected X key usage. And now it comes over here. And Jen, hey, she gets some tech on this level. And wait, I thought we should want tech down lower, didn't she? Well, that's true. But look at this. Jen just completed this turbine mission. So yay! Now, um, don't worry about that in a second. But right now, the X is used up once again. And... Here's the problem. Jen would have to send her tech guy all the way back up to the top. She doesn't want to do that. So she's going to spend a battery to say, nope, you stay where you are, buddy. Uh, so that he can keep, so he got some tech here. And now uh, we charged up his rebreather so he can keep on going down and get the tech down here that Jen's been working on for a while. And now she will go on ahead and spend all that stuff to score three points. One, two, three, and no batteries and no money off of this. So she just scored three quick points. Hooray, and all these are gone. Okay, and so Tech Diver, keep on going deeper. And now once Jen uses the one or the four, she'll reset all of her stuff. Um, so she probably wants to use the four next to get him closer. And then maybe she'll use a battery to force him down to the bottom level so she can finish this thing, etc., etc. But in the meantime, it is my turn. And hey, I got all my stuff back and all the sponsors have shifted up radically now. Does that change things around? Uh, unfortunately, the pay a battery to move stuff is on a level that I don't care about because I got nothing to move there. That's no good. Oh, but my tech guy, he's finally on the right level. So let's go on ahead and do this. Oh, wait. Oh, and by the way, since Jen finished a, a contract, there's another one. 
All right, a green, a white, one of everything for four points and a battery to make this, I don't know, it's some kind of grow light thing, obviously. Uh, some big fancy contraption that lets us grow food on the surface. So that's a big deal. Um, but I'm a million miles away from that. And in the meantime, I'm about to finish this. So let's go on ahead and activate level three. All right, and what's at level three now? Hey, I get to upgrade a diver. All righty, it's this diver right here. And it used to be he would only get for me um, tech, but now he gets tech and he lets me reclaim one of my spent tiles. Although, ooh, I don't have any spent tiles at the moment. Shoot, how does that work? Hadn't thought about that. Darn it. Um, I don't think that, yeah, because he would activate, as I think he'd have to activate before. So actually, hold on a second. This isn't what I want to do. Although I do still want to activate level three. Um, right, no, but what I'm going to do is, all right, I'm going to go on ahead and spend a battery and shuffle my guys around. I, I have one propeller power because I haven't upgraded my propellers. I'm going to tell him to move up one level. There we go. So then uh, we're going to continue, activate level three and say, hey, activate, upgrade this guy. Okay, because I'll be able to use his power immediately, which is now he generates fuel and batteries for me when I activate them. So go on ahead and activate, Mr. Man. Give me that fuel, which is not what I need on this floor, and give me another battery. I spent a battery, I just got it right back. Hooray, okay. And now there is a discarded tile in this level. Cool. So, although, ah, because I was thinking is, hey, now he's in place. I'd use my X to do him and upgrade him again. Oh, by the way, when I upgrade the other one, I scored a victory point. I always got to remember when you do this upgrade and I, oh, I had to, oh no, I didn't have the two credits on hand to pay for that upgrade, did I? No, I did not. I'm broke. I could not do that upgrade. Shoot, which means I didn't get the battery, et cetera, et cetera, which means I really didn't want to do what I was thinking about doing here. So, oh man. So, I mean, it's fine. It just means I didn't get the sponsorship, I, and which means I didn't upgrade the, the guy and I didn't get the battery. Which means, since I couldn't afford the upgrade in the first place, I think I will not have spent that battery. I will not have shuffled these guys around because I wasn't going to be able to pay for the upgrade anyway. I'll have just used him as originally planned. I activated him. I said, oh, I don't have the money for the sponsor. Say la vie, very sad, but hey, I got my tech instead of fuel he goes back up to the top and then i say hey let's go on ahead and finish this mission here and give me three points so one two three it's now uh six to eight in my favor all i'm leading at the moment all right so that's what i did um but if i had activated level four first i would have made money that would have been the money i needed to do the upgrade oh man i'm feeling quite silly yeah, I totally, I mean, you can see this game gets very, very thinky and very complex with all the stuff you can do and all the, you know, I mean, I should have activated level four first, gotten myself some green down here, but more importantly, gotten the money, then paid the battery to move the uh, oil guy down, et cetera, et cetera. But eh, I, I missed an opportunity for an upgrade. That's really painful. That was a bad, bad move. I should have done this first, made the money off of this new power I've got. What was I thinking? I was thinking I'm a dumb dumb. And now it is Jen's turn. She could activate her spy or activate her merchant. And remember, she's got batteries. So she could, instead of activating her spy, she could activate green or tech. Um, or she could activate um, you know, another engineering thing by pushing this down or the robot by pushing it up. So she's got a lot of flexibility if she's willing to push things up and down. She does. And after she does, she will get all her tiles back. So she probably wants to activate the spy. Um, and she'll get, she'll, oh, she'll recall a tile anyway. It'll be her X tile. And the spy could copy my green. That's not exciting. She, spy could get another, I think actually, Jen will pay one of her batteries to get the tech diver down closer to his ultimate goal. And then Jen will activate him. Level four says, hey, reclaim something. Jen will reclaim her X. And then she gets a uh, tech on this level, which is not what she wanted. And now she'll pay her other battery to have him stay. All right, so he stays, but the four is used up. All right, so um, now, 
Uh, well, she'll use her X. That'll shift things around. Then she'll get her stuff back. So if she uses her X on level five, then the uh, then she'll get the five back. The tech guy will be in place. She'll get her tech, and then boom, she will score her long-awaited four points plus battery. And so I think that makes sense. That's not bad. And back to Dumbville over here. I can't believe I was such an idiot. All I had to do was just this first, and then do everything I just did. But I'm so embarrassed now, folks, I think I'm going to stop right there because as the game goes on, things just get more and more complex as you have more and more upgrades to your divers and um, you get more and more of these bonuses installed. Oh, by the way, I should have put another bonus out after I took the one I took. Silly me. And it was... Um, this. So there's two opportunities to get more um, missions there. And again, we're just racing to 18 points um, by constantly manipulating the queue, this kind of elevator of divers, and taking advantage of sponsors and bonus tiles and completing contracts. And that, folks, is what Otis is all about. Now, if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.